hello all welcome back so in this video we are going to see how we can create virtual machine in google cloud using a python so let me open my cloud shell and in cloud shell i already created one folder python for gcp in this i already have file here create vn.py so i just don't want to make video longer by manually typing the code okay so what I have done, I have already created the code. I removed all errors and I'll walk you through the code and I'll provide you the code how to create virtual machine using a Python. So I'll just explain you the point where you can make mistake or you already faced an issue at that point. So first thing here, the authentication. So for authentication, I am using a service account. So I already created one service account in my google cloud and i exported the key for that service account so let me show you how to do that so go to your iam service account okay so here i already created this python open your service account go to keys and here you can either add key create new key and download key from here it will download and that key i have uploaded in the same file so key.json is my service account keys okay and once you added the key then you have to import this module compute underscore v1 that is from google.cloud library and these are the parameters you have to provide now one thing mostly including me make mistake here like the format so how we should mention this parameter what should be the correct format to mention these parameters or a variable so the best way i'll tell you open any existing instance so go to your compute engine open any existing instance and scroll down to the bottom so here you will see equivalent rest and these are the values you have to use while creating your python code so if you see i have included as it is this network interface but this is just api value so you have to make it as a python variable just example this is network interface single word but in python you have to make it as like network underscore interface or some variable name so here i use the same just i took the required value then the machine type so this is the format of the machine type we have to use so i copied this from the machine type value in this api's value so if i show you here there will be a machine type yeah so this value i copied okay so this is the correct format so all this value you have to copy this way so first thing you need to define required values in a variable most importantly the network interface okay so that is a bit complex for a first time so we have to mention values in this format so this is used when you need external ip if you don't need external ip you don't need to use this external net okay and once you defined all this value the second important thing is you have to define all this value in config so the name is instance name which is the variable we define then the machine type which is again the variable and the disk okay so the network interface will be again our network interface block so once you define this value you will use this client so we have to first define this client compute client is equal to compute underscore v1 dot instance client and then we have to use a method compute client dot insert and it will take these parameters so all value whatever we have declared it will use that value and use this method to create a instance now let me uh, run code first it will give an error and i want to making it purposeful because any person who is trying for the first time will face that error and i want to give the solution for that also so let me run code now okay and you could see i got an error on the first line that import cannot import compute underscore v1 from google dot compute that's because we did not import it or install this module so we need to do pip install google iphone cloud iphone compute so it will install our required module
okay now let me execute again the same code okay now it is saying key.json was not found now this is because we are running it from the different part so let me go to this python for gcp folder okay and here let me execute the same command again so now it will start creating the virtual machine so let me go here and go to vm instance page and we'll see if our virtual machine is getting created okay so this is created you can see created vm my new instance so let me check what is the date okay it is 12th april 15 57 utc and you could see this vm created a uh, just now so this is a uh, india time so let me delete and create again because it created too quickly so let me delete or let me change a name of the vm in our code yeah here so only i will keep my instance okay i'll save it and i'll run our script again go here we'll refresh it should create my instance immediately okay you can see it is creating my instance so here it is given external ip because we have mentioned that external net if we only a uh, internal ip we don't want external ip then you can comment this part access config and I'll just give the name also internal and let me uh, run it again so it should create only with a private IP so let me go to this page and refresh okay so here this instance should get created only with the internal IP let me refresh and wait yeah you could see this is only created with a internal IP so if you want to create private vm then you don't need to put that access config block so in this way we can create a virtual machine using python in a google cloud so i'll put this code in a github and i'll share the link in the description okay so if you have any question let me know in comment section and i'll be creating more videos on python with a google cloud so just stay tuned and wait for further videos so thank you for watching this video